what Vas Blackwood's us on the phone. You know Vas who play Roy. Oh, Vas. Vas. Original. What are you talking about? So look, no, you're not. We're doing a live right now. What's up, Vas? Yeah, I'm doing it with Tundi right now. Come on, Vass. Hold tight, Vass. Tundi, this is my Rastafari message. Come on, all day. That was something like that Jamaican rubbish, yes, son. Tundi, Tundi, Rastafari message. I love my dad. You know what's up, mate? Hey, listen. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm just, we're just doing the, the best fights. Oh, sorry, for the people who don't know. Uh, we've got acclaimed award-winning actor, Vass Blackwood, famed for playing Rory Breaker in the Lockstock movie. You yeah, made the Guy Ritchie movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, Lennox Gilby in Only Fools and Horses, the damn elusive Shat Adam. Yep. That, yep. that was the one. Only That's Fools and Horses. Tundi's that from Peckham, and you're dark in like him, so Tundi used to say you and him was brothers. <laughs> <laughs> We are we are brothers and Tundi is right. And I know back in the day they took they had the black and white telly and he had a lot of brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Vass, Vass, why are you on the line? Why are you on the line? The fight is right, crew. Why are you on the line, Vass? Hold on. Why are you on the Vass? Huh? Yeah, I say why are you on the line? The fight is right, crew, and those of us watching would wanna know what is your what would be your pick for fight of the 2021? What fight do you really want to see in 2021? Okay, I would go for, there's a few, there are a few, but I would go for, I'm really liking the, um, uh, the, 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 the Javante Davis and um, Ryan Garcia fight. I Come mean, on. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling that fight. I'd like to see, I'd like to see Charlo and um, Canelo go because I tell you what that just 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 for the PR and the press because Canelo don't say much and Charlo says too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bit like me and Spencer. <laughs> no, but the, the, no, it's all good. But I mean, that makes for a great, great fight because Canelo, as I said, he's just like he's what it's all about. He don't say too much, man, but he can have a he can have a fight. He can have a yeah. fight. Um, and I think obviously when we go to the heavyweights, no, no, no. I want to see um, I want to see Carl Frampton. Uh, I love Carl, you know, a good man, Carl, and I like. I want to see him get go in the trenches again because I think that's due, Carl, to go in the trenches again for Carl. Josh Taylor as well. I like, yeah. I like just Taylor to have a good uh, have a good fight with someone who can match up with him. And then obviously, you know, you've got guys like this this whole thing with Devin Haney and Demo and all them guys there, man. They've got a um they, they, this, that's some class fighters, Shakur Stevens. You know? Shakur yeah. Stevens and all of that. But um, and there's the, the Japanese fighter as well. Like, what's his name? The one who's in the same weight? Is he in the same weight division like Japanese or is he the weight below? Oh, in your regular or whatever his name is. In in in, in, in you or whatever his name is. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and is, is, I think um, who's who's is it? Bob Aaron got him or Bob Aaron? Yeah, Bob Aaron. Yeah, I think he's a top rank fighter, definitely. Yeah, he's with top rank, so I want to because he's got some, he's got some good movement. That boy. He's, uh, he's, yeah. He's, 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 can I just say? Can I just say? While I have been overly impressed with your acting skills over the years, I am even more impressed with your boxing knowledge. No, it's <laughs> a long time. No, I love. He loves boxing. I was going to say, I was going to add as well now with the heavyweight division, right? I want to see the, 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 the Ukrainian fella there, um, Music. I want to see him fight some, like Joe Joyce. I want, you know, listen, let me tell you something. I've got to pick up Joe Joyce because Joe Come Joyce, on. Joe Joyce, not only did he step up to the plate, but what Joe Joyce did, Joe Joyce, he, 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 he exhibited the noble art. He exhibited the no blood. I don't think there's no disrespect towards Daniel Dubois either with that at all because Daniel can still watch that fight and see the no blood because the jab, the jab was like a ramrod. And I do really believe, and also, he's got an amazing chin. And I think Joe Joyce, some people were laughing about him the other day about him fighting Usyk and say, because he says he wants to take Usyk. And some, you know, we've got to love the comments because comments in social media tend to, 
it's like it's like um, um, it's like um, manure story. We use the we use the word manure because it's a safer word to use on air, right? But you know that story because it tends to get things going. Like the way Mike Tyson just got he, Mike Tyson is a true G. He's got um he's got it off now with Javon A. Davis. Yeah, as much as they might not like it, Tyson. That's what we fans want to see. But anyway, getting back to Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce, right? He said, you know, obviously he wants to fight. You said, and people are laughing in the comments saying you're too slow, you're too this, you're too... Well, they said a lot of things about it before he fought Daniel. Yeah. But I personally think he would beat you, Sick. Because Come on. That's a big shout. Huh? That's a big shout. It's a big shout. Yeah, it probably is. And I, you know what? When I heard you said that, I'm thinking a little bit about, about it. Yeah, it's a big, a bit of a big shot. So obviously, they can both rise to the occasion, the fighters. But I just feel that it's, 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 I think about the Chisora fight and Usyk. I think yes. that Joe, Joe's got a little bit more. You know yeah, I, mean? I believe. I mean, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm saying it's a big shot, but I actually believe Joe Joyce will beat him as well. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you said that because. Yeah. I was speaking to Sam Jones just yesterday. Yes. And that's one of the fights that they're looking at to be made. Yes. So, yeah, and, I, and, and yeah, I mean, that's one of the fights that could be made, and it could be for an interim world title. Um, because... Sorry, I was going to say that. Things, they would, they would want to take that fight, right? Because they believe, you know, obviously, they believe, listen, he would get up for the fight. <laughs> Definitely get up for the fight, uh, but but whereas with whereas with um with, with Derek Del Boy, I thought I felt I wanted obviously I wanted Del to win that Del my power, I wanted Del to win that. But then people were talking, explaining good boxing, um, like yourselves were talking about how crafty and how clever this music is, and I did see it when he fought Derek, but. I think Joe Joyce, right? He's got. He's got. Listen, he knows no one. He's a yeah. Big, he, yes. Yeah. He's a. He's a very. And you know what? He's a very understanding gentleman. He's got a lot of knowledge, boxing knowledge, and he proved it. Good he fire. He's a yes. good yeah. fire. And you know, and, and and I think a lot of people overlook that going into the contest. That Joe Joyce was obviously a, an Olympic silver medalist. Really, some people thought he should have got the gold. He was he was jogged out of the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and I listened. I listened to what a lot of the um, a lot of the like the likes of yourselves, the sort of like connoisseurs in the fight game and fighters and what were saying about Joe. And I wasn't quite taking it in. And it's only and I've even gone back now and listened to some of the interviews before that fight and what people were saying about Joe Joyce. And then it starts to get more and more apparent as the, as the process of the fight. What you all discovered, and then you saw the weigh-in and everything. And I, I, don't, I don't know if I saw Daniel flinch a bit of the way in but whatever. But I said, you listen, it's no great loss towards the He hasn't lost anything, right? I mean, and, and, and all that rubbish about, you know, the towel and in, and in. Listen, I've got to say it as well. You know, as much as I love, I know, I know Chris Eubanks from way back in the day, the Nigel fights and Ambrose Mendy and all that. I know Chris uh, Baron, and I've never, really, I've never met his son, right? But I really do think that, you know, I mean, I don't know if he has apologised to Daniel, but he should because there's no need for all of that business about, like, you know, talking about people quitting. Because I don't think no boxer quits, no professional yeah. fighter. Call another boxer can fight. Call another boxer fight just to get more again, more comments, more likes, uh, people to to react to what he's saying. I don't think you should ever teach ever do that. And I, I felt a little bit what's the word let down by uh, Chris, Chris saying that because he's an educated kid. I'll give him that. I know he's an educated kid and everything, but he should, you know, at this point in his career, especially losing the way he did to Billy Joe Saunders and losing the way he did to George Gross. Because come on. Come on. One, one, and I can see in George Gross face in the walk. You watch that ring walk, he was gonna go and do him and he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Vass, listen, your knowledge, I mean, we could literally listen to you all day long, but it's been an absolute honor and a pleasure. And oh yeah, bro, man didn't even know that Richard, you and Richard Blackwood are related. He's my cousin. Come on. So so what is this thing running in the family then? This 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 little comedy thing runs in the pool. You're not really I don't know what to call you. You're a comedian one day. 
you're a serious guy, you're a gangster the next day. But, I but you, I, before I go, right, I've got to tell you all something. I've got some things coming, right? I've got some, because I do, I, I kind of, I write, I write as well, produce stuff, and I've got, I've kind of turned a new leaf in my in my life, right? This, this type of thing, that, and apparently I was told that the money, where the money is, is creating. And I've always been into creating stuff, and I think I think I'm on the verge, right, of them, the big people, like kind of biting onto something that I've got to give them, not just to employ myself, but really to create something so that um, the likes of yourself, all your fans out there, and generally speaking, people can sit down and watch something and say, "Yeah, man, I can relate to that." That's not yeah. bad. So. So, so you know, pray for me, and hopefully, I know you will. And I like, I'll pray for you as well. Bless up. Be on as well. Blessings from Almighty John Rastafari. Rastafari. <laughs> Come on. Before you, before you give the line, you got to give us. You got to give us the line about the milk. Come on, son. Yeah. All right. Then. Okay. Then. And there we go. If the milk turns out to be sour, I'm not the type of pussy to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have the one, the only, Mr. Vass Blackwood. <laughs> Thank you, Vass. God bless, brother. Love you. All right, man. Come on. Love that. Love that. Love that. Thank you, Vass.